Well, we may as well get started. Hey, um, yesterday we had a number of people come. Today, though, is Christmas Eve Day, which over here, you know, Christmas Eve Day is not, um, is not really a thing until you get to be at night. That's when most uh, uh, celebrations or religious um, ceremonies uh, worship, uh, gatherings happen and here it's day, but I realized <laughs> that a number of regular folks who join this Twitch are not in the United States. It's their evening Christmas Eve day, but, um, Hey, mud shark. So you celebrate on the 24th. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> and Waleed. Nice. All right. We got our small party of regulars. Good to have you both and whoever else join in and let's, um, I'm, I'm really eager to continue, uh, where we were yesterday. And I introduced this new tool. Well, it's new to Swift. It's been around for a while. As you can see by the number of languages it's supported in, it's called Approval Tests. I just dropped it in the chat there. And uh, the idea, the basic idea is that instead of writing an assertion, uh, uh, and assertions, I live on assertions. Uh, and honestly, XAT assert equal goes a long way um, when you want to compare one little thing with one little thing, especially primitive values. But as soon as they get complicated or big, uh, if, if it's a big object or you're dealing with a collection of objects, then it gets to be a pain. And that's where approvals comes in and makes it easy to say, you know what, just verify this thing. And then it writes it out to a file. Whoop, come back. There we go. Let me minimize that and move this back, back, back in the corner. I wish I could lock that in place or make it even smaller. But it's good to know I'm not alone. That's why I like having that counter there. So um, yesterday I started uh, creating a pipeline to join together these various components, each component having been test driven, but what happens when we connect them all and feed data down the pipeline, uh, what comes out at the end? And that's what, uh, it's really a characterization test. That is the, you see, there's no value in here saying, what should it be? The answer is whatever, it, it's gonna be whatever it is. And that we have saved off. Uh, so I took, I just copied the first few lines of my actual survey um, CSV file and, and stuck it in here. And this is what came out. We worked on cleaning up um, a leading space, but now I'm starting to think that leading space may issue we had may be a red herring. It may be completely unnecessary because I took the trouble to take uh, each person's answer in this survey. For example, um, uh, the, the survey was freeform. You could type whatever you wanted to. And I then assigned keywords. Like I'm like, okay, uh, this person said, testing UI asynchronous stuff. So I said, okay, I'm going to call that async. And we see that does show up here with a score of 16, which means we've had, uh, two, uh, two, eight scoring answers. So that's good. But then what's why, if I went to all that trouble to break out nice keywords, why am I seeing ribs, etc. 
or what to test, or what to test of reactive. And the clue, which um, someone pointed out, is this unpaired quote, this weird quote. What is that doing out there? Here's a quote, and look at why it's quoted. It's quoted because there's a comma in here. That comma and all the commas in here are messing me up because I am not doing proper CSV parsing. I should really be taking every, everything inside those quotes and not regarding these commas. In fact, so... Um, that's, that's what I want to do today, is fix this. Uh, to fix this, I don't really need to make a heavy actual CSV parser. Why not? And the reason is because I'm ignoring the freeform answer. It's in there because it's in my spreadsheet. Uh, and I wanted to keep the actual answers next to my keywords side by side. But uh, I don't analyze the, the This code doesn't analyze the, that at all. It skips it. So what I can do, instead of saying, well, we're going to go through here and escape comma or not regard commas inside of quotes, what I can do is just say, look, maybe if it starts with a quote, I should just blaze on to the end quote and ignore. So let's start with that. Um, this is a problem with my split entries. Is that right? No? Let's, let's take a look at the pipeline. Okay, the pipeline starts with, yeah, taking a, a taking one big string, breaking them into different, so that's split entries, that's each entry is a line, but then I create a weighted entry from the comma separated entry, that's what I want. And here, all I'm doing is splitting on commas. Hmm, that's not good. That's not good. So I need to add, I need to work on my weighted entry tests. This is the test that we added yesterday for spaces, which I'm not convinced I need. But let's start there. Source, interest, mm, freeform problems. This is where I want to put a like if I if I put a comma in here. Let's let me just verify how things. I expect things to uh, fail. Okay, so the quote has to be escaped. That's fine. And if I stick an extra comma in here. Uh, never mind this. Uh, this is a plugin that is not happy. If I stick a comma in here into this uh, test data, um, this will choke and die on these weighted entry tests. That is my prediction. There we go. All right. So that's essentially what we have to do. And come back here. So make input, this little helper takes um, the interest. You, you see uh, the, there are various uh, columns in here. And I never had to specify these before. So they were just in here. But let's add a new...
free form problems or free form and I want to default this to the same answer I had before. So basically by adding a an argument with a default value to it, this should continue to work even when I slap in here like that. And this gives also a bit of um bit more I mean this gives the documentation of what my columns are. There we go. I'll give you a little more viewing room there. So this should continue to pass because it's the same data. By the way, my um, my pipeline tests that you saw, uh, you see there, it's not super slow, even though it's doing this comparison against a saved file. It's 25 milliseconds for a test. It's not bad. All right, so we've got a freeform problem. Let's take this one step at a time. Um, let me duplicate this test. Just as a good starting point. And it should it should ignore commas in quoted freeform answer. Freeform problem. Freeform problem answer. Freeform problem. Eh, problem is good enough. All right, so I'm gonna not worry about desires or features. I do want to keep problems there and let's get rid of the space because that's we're going to come back to that and here I should be able to take right that came first so I should be able to take this and say well if this has a quote in it I'm watching the Beatles uh, documentary, so that's the first thing that comes to mind. So this has a comma. Eh, let's just make it less nerdy. Hello, John. Uh, and this should still give us P1 as our, our as our problem, but it won't. I expect this, I'm going to call this shot, that this will fail. There's the failure. I wasn't quite sure what it would say on the inside. But you can see it, it picked up this comma and it said, okay, then this is the first problem. John, yeah, that's me. Problem number one. All right, so let's fix this. So this is proper TDD. By the way, when this when this goes green, the other uh, my approval test will fail, and it should, but it will show me better data. That is my prediction. Let's do this. All right, so comma separated entries splitting on the separator. It's, it's like the first thing I need to do is take anything inside of quotes and delete it because I'm not paying any attention to that data. So let's now I'm open to ideas and suggestions of how do I take a hunk of of 
So, yeah, maybe a regular expression. That is probably an easy way. Let's see here. What do we have? Look for like if we take a string and we uh, is there a way with a regular expression to create another string from this? There's also replace subrange. Mm. Remove all, remove first, remove subrange, filter, drop. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't know. Why don't we see what we got? Swift string uh, regex replace. I've been here before. String by replacing matches in string. So an NS regular expression. Let's see what we got here. If we get a pattern for a regular expression, uh, and we say replace, this is starting to look like what I want, but let's find out. String, do I need string length? I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Let's just stick it in here and say that we are not doing my string. We're getting, don't know that I need string length. Count elements. What the heck is that? Make range. I mean, can I just say, I know length, it's depends on encoding, but um, I think all of my encoding is strictly by uh, UTF-8, so I'm just going to stick that in there. Let's see. Regex, okay. This is a complicated regular expression here. What do I want? I want, let's just start from scratch. Uh, it's like we match something that has a quote in it with something inside um, and inside the quotes will be our our matcher right Uh, not quotes, braces. Uh, 
Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And this looks like it might be out of date. Dot star question mark. The question mark being um, so in in between dot star question mark right. I want to replace everything in here. I have no idea what I'm doing. And even before we get there, we're seeing this uh, this error with this type. Let's see. Let's let's do this a little bit more. Has, has error gone away and and been probably been swallowed up? inside of uh, actual error handling Swifty style. You know, options, I don't really care about the options. So. What's going on here? Call can throw. Yep, that's what I expected. That this should add a. I'm just going to try bang. There we go. That's a plausible regular expression though uncertain um and so i want to take this and replace it i want to keep the outer parts then make them into groups question do i want to keep the outer parts uh, make them into groups and then join them back together um This is getting pretty complicated. Or you could split the string on quotes. It's likely that I'll have, um, let's explore this a bit. Because right now this is this is getting sort of complicated without getting anywhere. Um, so if I have a string that's got, um, if I split it on quotes, let's say I have here we come back. Oh, this really need needs uh, an extra quote on the outside there. Right, I want John quote. Now I expect to see in the test failure, John quote, comma, uh, P1. Yeah, like that. Um, if I split this on quotes, essentially I have, yeah, there it's, it, it is entirely possible that there will be other quotes in the these other two freeform sections. And I need to plan for that. But let's see where it goes. One step at a time. All right, so if I take comma separated entries and split on Uh, 
that, what does that even give me? Make input is this big old string. Let me pull this out for a second. I just want to experiment in here. I'm essentially going to use um, this test as a uh, what you call it? Playground? All right, so let's see what we get here. It's hard to see. Because... <laughs> Honestly, this would be easier to see if uh if I did an approval for it. Let me bring in approvals. And let's verify the this. I just want to see what it looks like. That's easier to see for me, at least. Uh, Ray, you might, that might be a bit complex. You probably have to count the commas to figure out which items to remove. Um, well, the only reason quotes will appear, well, let's, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. If. If there's more than one item in here, and this is an array of substring, does it look better if I... No. Um... See, if I don't have the quotes, if I don't have the comma, the quotes won't be there. Right? If I go like this, then my verifier will pop up and show one big long string in an array. But by introducing the freeform problem, I should be able to say, well, let's see if the quotes are included. Quotes are not included, but I can search for anything with a comma inside. No, I can't. Oh, well, this is a little tricky. OK. 
Count the commas. Yeah. I'd have to say, com see, how many commas are in here? Hmm. This could get hard. If this were a whiteboard interview, I would, like, you'd be, I'd, I'd be out the door, right? It's a good thing those things are not a good measure of uh, one's actual coding ability. Doop, 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 doop. I thought this would be easier. Regex will be easier. Let's try it. In fact, let me, let me just try it in here. We're going to do... TDD like you mean it. And by TDD like you mean it, I mean I'm just going to fool around in the test code. And if we extract this to regular expression, Just stick with the same name. What will this give us? We have no idea. Options. This doesn't look good. Um, Let me duplicate it and see what we get, if anything. String by replacing matches in range with template. So I don't think this is going to work um, because I don't want to match the whole thing. Let's see what happens. So we have an invalid. An invalid expression. So, not sure we need that comma. Let's see what this gives us. Hey, hey, look at that. We have, let me just move this up and about so we can see it a bit better. Uh, we have source 1, xx, and p1 is our first, uh, our first issue there. So, awesome. I 
think this might have worked. Do we need that question mark? I'm going to believe you. And it worked. I just want to see what happens. It still works without. So I'm going to go with the simpler expression there. And... <coughs> Excuse me. So that means... Like if I say free form, yeah, that that's the the next uh, thing is you know what to do with more than one, but we'll get there. All right, that's what I want. Let's start. Let's start down this road, and we'll see how far we get. All right. So now let me pull this out. Slap it in here and come up with some better names. Oops. I want comma separated entry. And this is going to become a try bang because the regular expression is fine. And this is going to become sort of a, our quote stripped. And I think that this will now pass my my one test, and then uh, and then we'll see how it changes the pipeline tests. Except for that. Get that out of here bring this back into play and get rid of approvals. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Look at that. It looks much saner, doesn't it? And except for what to test, it looks kind of Funny. Unless what to test is a keyword I came up with. That is entirely possible. I think it might be. That seems like a you know a good topic that I can't express in, in, in one keyword. And that is the only failing test. I'm going to declare victory. Oh, I forgot. I need to uh, approve this. Uh, and to approve this, I'm going to say... Oop. That is my new accepted answer. Rerun test, which should now be green. I'm loving approvals. And I'm going to commit this as progress. Uh, yes, let's go continue with this. This is going to be a feature that's less than eight lines. Is it a feature or is it a bug? It's a bug. Um, ignore. One occurrence of quoted free form answer. And, uh, if it has quotes, it has commas. All right, progress. Let's come back to this test. 
now we're back here. Now this is our new result. Um, and I actually want to see, like, how does this fit with the others? Uh, the, the problems and et cetera. So let's, let's change this test. Let's rename it to test, uh, problems. Uh, this is going to mess up my, um, well, should be able to rename it here. If I do that, that should still pass. Okay, so that's a test only change of uh, rename test. And I want other tests like it. So let's pull this into a fixture. I want a fixture or do I know? Mm -hmm. Let's pull it into a fixture. So this will be a pipeline with setup. My, uh, you are seeing the advantages of using my code snippets. And so the question is, will this still, will this refactoring, test refactoring work? And let's find out. All right, and let's move this, at least for now, into the setup also, right? So now we have problems with a one-liner, and it'll be easy for me to add others. This is a test only refactoring of uh, extract uh, pipeline test fixture. And now let's see what we get. If we score all desires, and this is going to be score desires. Now this will fail the first time. This is better than um, uh, other snapshot testing frameworks. Hey, that's that looks pretty nice there. Look at that. Let's take that. It is just easier to work with instead of putting it into record mode. I can just say, look. So, so in other... Um, uh, like uh, image snapshot uh, testing libraries, you have to, there's only one file of the Golden Master and it does create the, you know, the intermediate, the, the result file and it compares them. And if it fails, then you, but you want to say, but I do want that new thing. Then you have to put it into flip it into record mode and and it's like rerun the test put it in record mode so that it goes into the answer rather than do that we use the the power of the differ itself the external uh diffing tool to say yes move it over and so it's much easier than using the the regular snapshot libraries so this should now be fine I'm liking it. 
I'm not... Now, it doesn't prove that we don't have the other problems, right? The, the quotes in here, it looks like that's the only quote. Oh, here's another quote. But only one... Uh, no, the, the first line there is, uh, is ignored completely. It looks like I'm only handling one quote per. So I'm not convinced that it's real, but let's get these, uh, these tests down. So this is a new test. It's not a change to any, um, production code. So this is test uh, desires. And one more. Again, this will fail. It will show me the actual result. I'll approve it. And that is all it takes. Nice. Oh, Mudshark, what do you got? Try adding freeform desires with the quotes at the same time. I think that will be a problem. Yep. I agree. But let me get this in here just for... Get this last one in there. So the way this looks, if you look at uh, the, the, the tests now look funny in that it, all it has is a bunch of verifies. So if you're able to see which uh, app code uh, lets us see the files, not just the pro not just things source code in the project. We can easily see. Ah, oh, yeah, here's uh, desires, killer features, and problems. These are all the approved um, results. Now we likely have a problem. I should be able to suss that out with um, with unit tests. And that was over in the weighted entry. Oh, these I can get rid of now. So I'm not using them anymore. Let me just confirm that by rerunning the tests. All right, so weighted entries tests, we have the freeform problems are being scooped up. But that's, that's like one. I really want to expand on this. And I don't want to do them separately. I want to grow this. So let's add a freeform. Desire. Problem, problems, desire, desires. Uh, I'm going to go with desires here and say this is going to be preform desires. This should still pass. And while I'm at it, let me rename this. Is it Shift F6? It is. And we want the same thing for features. Oh, I want it up. Oh, oops. I want it up there.
this should also still pass. Again, I'm extending my uh, test helper here with default arguments, so it shouldn't affect anything that does not specify them. Let me stick that in there. Uh, as a test only change, expand, make, uh, like that. Now let's use it. Because what I want is to say we've got free form problems and P1. And then we have the freeform desires. That should be D1. Hello, John. Uh, now this is... Sure, I'll just keep using this thing with a comma in it. Now, with should ignore commas in quoted free form, I'm going to change this to answers. because this isn't... We expect this to fail. The problems will be fine. The desires will say, John, quote, as the first desire, and D1. Whoa! Or it'll do that. Lovely. In app code, uh, the debugger is not engaged by default, so that every time you run tests, you get fast feedback. If you want to see it with the debugger, you rerun again and say, I want to debug the tests. And this time it'll take the time to attach the debugger. You can get the same thing in Xcode by toggling the scheme, um, whether or not you have the debugger on or not. It's a little bit more work. I thought it would give me... Yeah, here we go. Extract keywords. Oh, it's choking on the ranges of... Um, wait, 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 wait. This means my, my, um, my input is wrong. I know what's wrong. I know what the problem is. There are different numbers of problems and different numbers of desires. So this comes back to my um, my tests that this is this is wrong. I can see this here. Wait. I believe I am wrong. I think I'm just screwing it up. Yeah, it's the same number. Well. Here's my prediction. I predict that I can fix this again by doing something horrible. and saying, let's get the string length two of quote stripped. And the regex will say, stay the same. And this will be quote stripped two. And 
And now I should be able to say quote strip two. Ugly? Ugly is fine. But I have a oh wait, wait, my the this um I got an a warning here, and that warning was important. So the question mark means don't be greedy, just take as little as possible. Oh, thank you. So I'll add that question mark back in. Thank you so much. And look at that. It has cleaned out more garbage from, uh, from the desires. It's working. Oh, I forgot to approve it. Um, looks like there was also a problem with the killer features. I'm not going to worry about the pipeline tests for now. I am going to say, let's do this quote. Let's do it again. <laughs> Freeform features. Where the features have a different number of commas, so let me make sure I get that right. I think this will fail this. I should I really ought to run that one test by itself. Oh, well, I'm going to let them run. I'm going to see other things here in the, uh, in the approvals. Let's come back here, All right? This is as, as expected. Um, let me run this one test by itself. just so we don't see the other noise. Do this horrible thing of saying, let's get the string length. Of quote stripped, ooh, I think I'm seeing, no, quote strip two, string length three, string length, three and this is in ooh, oh this is not good there may be we'll find out but right now get it to work running the one test by itself which it says in our big helpful um, thing below. So you can see, okay, so the test, the unit test passes. Gross, but it passes. Now, if I come back and say, let's run all the tests, now we should see changes, like it should fix the other problems. Ah, the pipeline. The pipeline fi uh, tests fixed themselves again, probably because I had other errors in here around like doing the, re the regular expression replacement on the correct string. 
So I'm going to accept this as good. And this is a bug. It's getting kind of long, but it's still not that long. Um, Grip all quoted freeform answers. Okay, so and the rest is refactoring. Um, maybe, you know, I don't mind going over today a little bit. I try to keep these to one hour. But I also, before I do, I want to bring in more of the 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 CSV. In fact, let's see. Here's this actual survey. If I look for quotes, so here here very here's a here's an answer that's got uh, more than one set of quotes in it, right? Here's another one, or is that just an extra long answer? That's just a long answer. So let, let me take this one and add it into my pipeline tests. This will fail all three, but it should let me see. Each, each entry should be like, each new entry should be reasonable. So confidence, great. Uh, this is an interesting problem at least with the app code differ, is that it's giving me one diff at a time. It's possible that if I use a different differ, a differ differ, um, yeah, get out of here. Dread mode, bye. I'm just going to ignore you. I don't have time for that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I wish I knew how to do better moderation, but it doesn't matter. If you use Twitch and you have uh, some moderation tips, I could uh, like auto moderation, not auto. I just want to boot that person, but they're gone. Um, but if you have any tips, I'd love to hear them. So let me set this back here and I want to demonstrate how to use so th this will be the last thing we won't do the refactoring um but let's say like i want to use a different reporter right now everything is coming up in app code and i'm just going to do this longhand and say let's create options of a different reporter Say report with, uh, do I have, I've got Kaleidoscope. And there's a way to set a, uh, a default for everything, but I'm just going to slap these in here.
All right, so this will fail again, but we should see the results come up in Kaleidoscope instead of in AppCode. Yes. Okay, so Kaleidoscope, it looks like Kaleidoscope does a little better job of showing me multiple diffs. So that's kind of interesting. So your diffing tool, your different diffing, diffing tools have different strengths. Um, I'll stop there. Any questions? If not, let's call it a day. Thank you so much, Mudshark, for all your help with my regex. <laughs> Will I be streaming tomorrow, Christmas Day? I think I'll still be in my pajamas. Uh, we're going to have more present. We're going to do some present opening tonight because we have a family member who's overseas, so we want to celebrate with with her um, and then we'll do more opening in the morning I think I think not I'm not gonna uh, I will, let's say I will not stream tomorrow um, but I'll probably be back on on Monday because I have all next week off too all right so with that take care Merry Christmas to if those who celebrate, um, and uh, for those of you who don't, I'm sure you so you're you're happy for us who do, because you're all good people. So I'm gonna wish you a merry Christmas um, from my tradition, and I will see you hopefully on Monday. If you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, bell, etc. Take care.